Hey tiny tropical tribe and welcome to episode 10 of this vlog about growing my tiny tropical garden in the south of the UK. Everything in September started so well with the garden absolutely packed with colours and lush growth from the amazing summer that everyone in the UK has had this year. However, England being England, the autumn storms were soon on the horizon. Now, as a preventative measure, I cut back all of the top heavy annual flowers that I didn't want to cause more damage if they blew over. It was a real shame to cut off these perfectly good blooms, but I made sure to leave enough flowers in the garden to feed the pollinators as late into the year as possible. At least I could bring in some flowers for my wife. You can see I had to cut back the Rudbeckia marigold and some of my Arundo donuts. I know this is a sore topic for a lot of people who enjoy growing tropical and exotic gardens. The washing line. My gigantic Rittenus impala plants were really starting to get in the way. But I liked them so much that I risked leaving them just tied into the wall for the storm and just kept my fingers crossed. As I was going out for the evening, the wind started to pick up. But all I could do was wait for the morning to see how the garden stood up to the storm. Morning came. All in all, the garden was surprisingly resilient. However, there was one rather drastic effect from the 60 mile per hour wind from the storm. My poor rittenous plants were blown over. Fortunately, the garden seemed to want to protect itself, as a vine from the passion flower was holding the enormous rittenous plant just above the other flower bed and saved all of the other plants from being squashed. I took this as a natural sign that now was the time to start prepping my garden for the winter months and it was also an opportunity for me to make the tweaks to the layout that I've been planning after the tiny tropical garden's first summer. I started by cutting back and digging out the ricinus plants. The biggest leaf measured 57 centimeters, and I was impressed by the size of the roots on these fast growing plants. I made sure to harvest all of the seed pods that I could and I'll be drying these out and hope to sell a few online. The garden was starting to look tidier already, but I had more changes in mind. I dug out my Calias plant so that I could protect them from the frosts long enough for me to successfully take some cuttings for next year. I also dug out the banana plant as it didn't really have the space it needed in the middle of the bed. I'll keep it in the pot over winter and I'll decide where to plant it early next year. Now we've had a couple of chilly nights but we haven't quite had a proper frost yet. So on the Dorset coast although we have to put up with coastal winds it does actually stay a little bit warmer here a lot later into the year. I'm also moving my polonia tree as it was getting too crowded in the corner and I'd like it to be more of a feature next year. I'll plant it near the front of the bed but at the far end of the garden and it will help add to that lush, leafy, jungly effect. As well as that, I've decided to remove the gunnera from the area by my pond. Really it needs more space to reach its full potential and seeing as I have a small garden, I need to be extremely picky about which plants can stay and which have to go. And the Verbena bonariensis is still providing plenty of colour for the garden as well as lots of food for the local wildlife. I've also moved my roost tree to the middle bed of the garden. It was planted by the fence and I was getting really worried about it rooting into the neighbour's garden and suckering there. The wide habit of the roost tree will also eventually provide some privacy for us from the houses at the back of the garden. And because it's deciduous, we'll have shade in the summer and all of the plants will have sunshine in the winter when it drops its leaves. All in all, it was an eventful September. Now, hit subscribe if you want to follow along on the journey of this tiny tropical garden and comment below if you've got any questions. Thank you for watching.